talking about closing the loops. See how how loops need to be closed. So so I brought this little thing right here. It's um any anything you can make it. It could be like a light bulb. There, there you go. There's a light bulb right there. So, so what? So this, so it needs to be closed. See what? Well, see how? It kind of looks like a snake. Like this is the front of the snake. This is the back of the snake. This is the front of the snake. This is the back of the snake. So then it go. So then the front of the snake goes down and around, but you don't want to kill it. But if you do kill it like that, it will. It doesn't work. So there's the light right there. And then I have some real circuit boards. It, most of you have probably seen a circuit board. So, let's shake all this. So, this one is called a Raspberry Pi. It's a weird name. So, if you take a close, closer look, you can see that there's light green, light green lines all over it. Same, same with, um, this blue one. This one isn't a real one right here. This one isn't real. But it's still pretty good. Still pretty good for an example. So So yeah, I talked about mostly all of this stuff. Now let's go into this. Oh, it kind of looks like a circuit board. That square part looks like a circuit, bo circuit board. Since this is out, um, since this is out, it looks like an, uh, I killed the snake. I'm not drinking any water to it. There's water in this truck at the straw type thing. But, it, but now that the circuit is closed, I'm getting water. <laughs> 